So this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're gonna do a full oracle card spread here and then an extended reading is always provided if you choose to purchase it. That link is in below, is below in the description box and I'm also going to leave it in one of the comments so that you can um, reach it from a mobile device because I just realized that you can't. So let's get into the reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mer Mercury, Mars, Venus, wherever. This is a Leo energy reading. So wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days when, from whenever you watch the video. It's always the right time when the video discovers you. So trust in that. I'm trying to get your crowning energy, Leo. Leo, 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 crowning, crowning, crowning energy, Leo. Interesting. Interesting. Coming out both sides. Coming out both sides. But nothing has necessarily flipped over. Let's give it one more. Leo. Something flipped over. So crowning your energy is Capricornian energy. Five. Okay. This is change, but it's systemic change. It's systematic change. It's slow moving change. It's commitment to rules, tradition, regulations, um, attention to details, maybe even sometimes getting stuck too much in expectations and plans. Um, but overall, it is conforming to tradition. It is sticking to the rules. It is karmic payouts and karmic payoffs. It is being a leader and taking the lead, um, assuming a role of protector, guide, guardian, foresight, um, even maybe sage on some levels. Um, this is an energy that does really, really well working within the rules, um, or it could be the energy that you're working against, as in going against the establishment because there is an energy of 223, which is my lucky number, but 23 is adds up to five, which is an energy of change. Five is change. Um, change is always, I, get, I think at its core, well at its core change is what life is because nothing stays the same. But it, there's always an element of chaos because different variables can be thrown in when change occurs. So it is upsetting and it does frustrate us, but at the same time, it can liberate us and also level us up. This is definitely the energy of taking the lead, um, a stamp of approval. This is what I always think of, like the seal of approval, getting approval, getting like, could be government pro approval, legal approval, or just starting to be recognized as a leader, a forerunner, or yeah, kind of like that um, CEO mentality, people listening to you. Uh, and looking to you as the expert in a field. This is this is definitely um, this is definitely definitely not a place that you arrive at, Leo, in a day. So it could also be getting to this point and still deciding to change direction because you want to align yourself with spirit more closely. Spirit has your back is the message of this card. Even if you're up against an establishment in the 3D, like a people coming up against you, spirit definitely is something that you're still in alignment with and is working in your favor. It's 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 supporting you. I have to apologize in advance. I have <laughs> I have never had this much trouble communicating. Even basic sentences are not coming out correctly. I know it's because we're going into a Mercury retrograde, but I have been fumbling my words all week and it's frustrating me. So just bear with me. Um so we have these energies Let spirit be your guide. 
Holy moly, you are definitely taking a lead. But you know what's interesting? This is like a lead of the mind, a lead, a thought, a thought leader, um, aligned with spirit. You have basically eagle itself is spirit itself. It is the conductor of spirit onto the earth. It is the messenger of spirit itself. And then hawk is sort of the eyes and ears of spirit, sort of collecting and gathering and maybe even sending messages of spirit. So it would be eagle and then hawk working together. But it's almost like eagle is the, the physical manifestation of awakened Tonka, so the great spirit itself. Um, you've got both of these arriving. Oh, wow. You got both of these arriving in your reading and both of these with the energy of five. So something is shifting. And I think this is spirit either working through you to make a change or make a shift in the world. And if so, I'm going to tell you that right now, like think about the American Eagle and all that we had to do to establish it. We, we, we literally had to fight a war and a battle, um, risk lives, uh, sacrifice lives. Years went by of us struggling and um, not knowing if we were going to earn our freedom. Like, think about what we had to do to forge the new path that was the United States of America. Well, that's, I think, this is no, in other words, this is no small energy, Leo. This is you being tapped to basically create another conduit or conduct, um, conduct people on a whole other path. And if you're being really brutalized and beaten up right now, Leo, this, the, it, like, I don't think it's, I'm just telling you right now, it's not because spirit is against you. It's because spirit has tapped you. And it's almost like Frodo in Lord of the Rings. It's like, once you start on this journey, you can't stop because the world is depending on you and it's going to brutalize you. But it's, going to change the world that's the kind of thought leadership that you could be thinking of now now it may not be like the change the world type of energy it could just be changing how things are in your company or sticking up for things that are right when you see them and other people don't see them or you know maybe fighting a class action lawsuit against something that you've seen is wrong or um, um, exploitive or just fighting against the establishment in a hundred percent this is not just your idea. This is you in connection with spirit. You have been tapped. That's what this energy is. And you're following the right path. You're following the righteous path. Understand, Leo, that this is going to take a lot out of you. It's going to change you. And you're helping to conduct a change that is going to affect a lot of people. Probably because you caught wind of something before other people did. And you were the one that was brave enough to answer the call. So no pressure. Oh my God. Wow. This and that are true. You're very frustrated right now because you're stuck in this murky middle point where you feel like you're not getting anywhere. And you also feel like you're not being taken seriously. You're here sounding an alarm like the British are coming. The British are coming. And people are like, hey, can you quiet it down out there? We're trying to sleep. And you're like, no, but like the, no, seriously, the, the British are coming and they're going to kick our, you know what, if we don't. No, you just want to roll over and go back to sleep. Okay, that's kind of like the energy of, of that's kind of the energy of, of what's going on with you right now, and that's why you're so frustrated because people are in this sort of like woo, you know, they're still sort of in there, a little delusional kind of. I'm very satiated with this Capricornian energy. I'm really satiated with all these material things, and I'm good with the way that things are. And look, the establishment. I'm sorry, I'm a mess today. I apologize. The establishment has really worked out for me, so I don't have to worry about anything. You know, everything is fine. And you know, like, um, you don't complain until something happens to you. But then that old saying of, you didn't complain, you, you didn't do anything when things were happening to other people. And then who is there to protect you when you're the only one left and something finally starts to happen to you. And I think this is what you're trying to say to people. And I, I don't mean to laugh because it's actually not a small thing. But at the same time, everybody's like, no. I'm good with I'm good, I'm not good with myself. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> and everybody's like lost in the shallows right now, just being like flippy dippy, and you're like trying to sound the alarm. So yeah, you're extremely frustrated. Uh, bring your ideas to life. 
what did I say? It's like conducting that electricity is like forging something new. This is that electric energy that puts that spark in those, those carbon elements that bring life. That's that special bringing something new to life. Um, taking your ideas from their state of idea or taking, yes, a state of sort of like, um, yeah, yeah. Intellect into how are we going to forge this into a mentality or into a movement or into a community or into like a live project, like taking something from the thoughts, which is inspiration from the divine and manifesting it into the, the 3d world fighting against this sort of like, numb, numb, like monotone way that people are, have already accepted things, fighting against this not wanting to change uh, or contentment with um, the status quo, okay? Take time out. Oh God. This is something that's really plaguing you. Like being attacked by bear energy, bear comes and attacks people that have basically like sinned against the gods or or have offended somehow the spirits and it's like bear energy attacking. Maybe you feel like you're getting your guts ripped out. There's a sense of, of unrest about you. Maybe you in some ways, Leo, um, played in the shallows too long or decided to be content too much with like material 3D goods and it wasn't answering spirits call directly and you sort of got, got off the path yourself. Either that or that's why this, this would be plaguing you because it was like that's not what you were assigned to do. So maybe you've been experiencing some sort of, you know, just sort of some sort of ailments or something. But simultaneously, this could just be like um, a physical manifestation of all your internal unrest sort of ripping you up from the inside. This is your central energy asking you to like heal, take time out, but it, it's not going to let you. There's something that's going to keep egging you on. I don't want to say haunting you, but definitely reminding you that, you know, you don't have much time to rest. You definitely are at a point where you just want to collapse right now. And then you have freedom is yours. This will let up. This will definitely let up. Um, maybe you are the one that's fighting against this, the establishment or fighting. Like, it's almost like you want to stop fighting. You're tired of being the one that's leading the fight and you're tired of being the one that's constantly getting beat up and ripped apart. And you just want to be happy. You just want to be a normal person again. You're sick of feeling like you're out front being ripped and teared at and, and, and the winds constantly hitting you. What you desire is to just wholeness and happiness and maybe even love because three plus three equals love freedom to love freedom to um, enjoy your life freedom to have peace and serenity and balance back into your life two plus one is the energy of three you have three 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 then lined up right there that spirit saying yes yes um we're going to release you from this for a little while Maybe finally getting some rest. Um, nothing is wasted. This, this sense of all the work that you've done, if you decide to take a time out, all the work that you've done is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to be washed away. There is a sense, there is a fear, I think, of you, um, of you, oh, I've wasted so much time. What if I take a break? Like I've gotten this far in my career. What if I take a break? There is that sense of, there is that sense of you feeling a fear but you know what? That fear is partially still this energy egging you on and never letting you forget. So even if you do take time out, um, it's more or less this sense of um, the thought, the, the feeling that will stick with you even when you are relaxing or taking time out that will not allow you to give up. If that makes any sense, nothing is wasted. I really feel, I have to say this, this is six plus three. That's the energy of nine. Something is coming to a head. Something is coming out. I explained this in the Aries video and I don't know if Sagittarius was similar. So it could be happening to all fire signs. This sense of something coming to a head, something coming out. Um, it's like the infection. It's almost like the infections come out and the white head is now evident. Something is, it's clear that there's a sickness here, right? So there's, there's this, there's this feeling of, um, have faith, have faith that the ground that you covered and the fight that you fought, you're not, 
you're not relinquishing the war just because you've decided to sit out a few of the battles. Um, and here we are. Be generous of spirit. This is your energy showing up in your reading. Three plus seven is ten. Coming to a conclusion. Coming to a realization of who you are. What your role is. What your direction is. Uh, where your future is going to be. Leo's always looking into the future. Believing in the future. Seeing the future. But this is more, I need to start focusing on defining my own future as opposed to defining the larger than life future. I have basically tried to make, almost make decisions for everybody else and force them onto a path that I was tapped to guide people on. But simultaneously, it's eating away at me. It's, it's, it's taking too much of me. I have to just basically do this for myself and not for anybody else. I have to go my direction and they'll follow when they're ready. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy coming to help you out and support you and say, focus on yourself, focus on how you feel. Remember who you are, Simba. Remember who you are. Remember your purpose in life is to lead, but you don't have to lead by pushing people or screaming at people or yelling at people. That's like wasting away your energy and ripping and tearing you apart. You just have to lead by being your full whole self and being you and being fabulous. You don't have to shout. That's why your voice is fading. Don't shout. Don't scream. Don't try. Just be and keep being you and people will follow and then you'll still have you intact. Um, so you see clearly now the direction and path is clear for you. This is a subtle energy. Owl doesn't scream loud and when he shrieks, shrieks it's usually a... Um, a warning that something bad is coming. So make sure that, so this is the energy of, in other words, only use your voice when you have to. Use your eyes, see what's real, see what's true. This is the energy of seven, making something, manifesting something from, like I said, the ether into reality, but doing it in the dark, almost being able to how can I say this? Owl has spotlights. Owl's eyes are like spotlights. So it's like the spotlights are inside of you instead of on you kind of thing. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, the spotlights are coming from you. Like you're lighting the direction coming from you instead of insisting that everybody's eyes are on you. Because basically what that means is you have to go out into the crowd and turn everybody's head towards you, turn everybody's head. You're like, tr you're like trying too hard to get people's attention. So this is the energy of those spotlights are shining from inside of you. You know the direction, just head there. And if people are smart, they'll follow. And if people are stupid, they won't. Then they'll learn their lessons and they'll follow when they can. This is, this is you stay aligning, you stay aligned with your purpose. You stay aligned with what you believe in. Just stop screaming and shouting at the crowd because you're wasting too much energy on them. Your energy has to go into you. Um, claim your independence, yeah. Getting back into your sense of self, you will land on your feet. This is the card that tells me you will land on your feet. You'll get back to a stable ground, stabilizing yourself, focusing on you, focusing on remembering your purpose. I've said this in a lot of my dailies. It's like, why did you start out on this path to begin with, Leah? Why did you get into this relationship? Why did you get into this career? Why did you get into this job? Why, why did you start this to begin with? Are you still in alignment with your divine purpose, with the reason why you did it? Do you still love it? Like remembering, remembering the you that began instead of the you that insists on all this extra, like it, the you that kind of got a little lost. Let's, let's say that. Remember why you did it and get back to that. Liberating yourself from all the extra that's really weighing you down. Um, and then we have the miracles are endless, a cornucopia of abundance coming your way, Leo. As soon as you learn, as soon as you decide to let all the superfluous BS go and just basically deliver the message from the gods. That's, that's what cow does, right? Cow is the steed, the chosen steed of the gods in, in Hindi, right? Um, that's why the cow is sacred over in India. This is the, 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 the chosen steed of the gods when the gods come from heaven and they visit earth. 
Um, so basically this is you being the conduit for for an inspiration. It doesn't even have to be about God. It has to be about inspiration and divine, like, like um, God, it's almost, you could be agnostic and atheist and this, this could still apply. It's about, it's about you being a conduit for something in the creation, in creation that you're creating. You're the conduit. So just be the conduit. Don't be the megaphone. Don't be the blaster. Don't be the, the jailer. Don't be the cop. Don't be like you're, in other words, you're trying to be too much. And all you were asked was to just be the conduit. So there's a way to lighten your load almost immediately and be loyal to what you love. So, oh, I love this energy. So this is you being reminded. All we asked you was to just be honest and true and share this message. That's all you have to do. For you to be going above and beyond that is great, but it's crushing you and that's not what we want. We don't want you crushed because you're too important to us. So what we need is you to just remember what you love get back to what you love and be who you are. It's also about being around people who really love you, people who care about you, will protect you. They're that ride or die tribe. Um, this is Cancerian energy. This is Taurus energy. There's lots of different energies here. It really is not zodiac sign specific. What it's saying is getting back to those things that really do take care of you, that love you uh, unconditionally. <sighs> yeah, and simplifying. Dogs are really simple energy. Life, life is very basic for them, right? They know who they love, they know what they love, and they lick their balls when they get a chance. Life is good. Um, love is all around. This is Gemini energy. Yeah, not only speaking truth, finding your words, uh, but it's surrounded by love. It getting, getting, getting told how much, uh, how much. Uh, how much people love you. This is also the energy of four plus one. Something is changing. Something is shifting. You'll see that you'll, you'll see that when you draw back, people will look to find you. That's what they do with leaders is like they, they look to find you. They don't, you don't have to yell and scream They're They want you in their life. Um, and this is your energy too. This is Leo energy. You've worked extremely hard. Believe me when I say the honey is sweet that you've made. You've done a great job. This is this is good on you, but this is also, you're gonna have all these benefits. This is seven. What you have created matters, and you're gonna you're gonna experience a big payoff. So you've already worked hard. Take a little bit of a break. Set healthy boundaries. <laughs> this is why you're taking a break to learn how to set healthy boundaries. Because basically this is, you've had no boundaries. You've let this big mantle kind of crush you. And look at those sad eyes. Our cute little armadillo that's just like, please save me and protect me from this armor that I have to wear every single day. Um, you've got the armor of the divine on you. You could take this armor off. You don't need to be suffocated or, or um, um, burdened anymore. This is the energy of, of sort of releasing either being extremely defensive or letting too much in and too many people in and letting your world be too big, but there's no in-between of, you know, toggling how high we build the walls, you know, should this wall be as thick as the other wall? Maybe not. That kind of energy of healthy boundaries are appropriate for the time and place that they're in and something has been off about the boundaries that you've been setting or haven't been setting at all. Then we have... Um, now is a lucky time. So you're multiplying, taking time out. Remember <laughs> bunnies, this could be, this could be actually multiplying and having children. This could be a fertile time for you and whoever you're with, but it's also about doubling down and multiplying. But remember, no animal has their babies right out in the middle of the road, right? They, they go someplace where they're safe and protected and they go away. And when they retreat is where they can multiply and divide and have their children in safety. So you've got to get to a place where you are healthy and safe to be able to allow this abundance to replicate itself. Time to heal. I mean, over and over again, and you can overcome any obstacle. You're going to get through this. The next seven to 10 days um, are asking you to literally, Leo, just retreat. 
retreat. Liberate yourself from these obligations. Liberate yourself from these heavy burdens. Liberate yourself from a schedule that's crushing you. Liberate yourself from expectations that are too grand, maybe. Too grand because they waste your energy. They waste your energy instead of use it effectively and efficiently. When, you didn't know, when spirit never even told you that you had to put that much in, it just said, be consistent, follow my lead, and, and stay with me for the long haul. It didn't say all this other stuff and all this other crazy, grandiose, big, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, Jennifer Lopez, who is a Leo, um, kind of pyrotechnics. What is all that for? Nobody told you that. I just said, listen, I'm proud of you because you stuck with it because you're carrying my message or you're, you're believing in your dream or you're doing whatever you're doing and you're doing it consistently every single day. That's all I asked for, right? But you are crushing yourself with all these other expectations and that's what you have to like get rid of. So um, let me show you the cards, hold on. This is really an energy, look at this huge reading. This is why it took so long. Um, but, but I think the story is clear, is that there is an energy of spirit trying to stop you from being something like, a spirit stop trying to stop you from being too much, you know, to, to get you back to basics somehow. And whatever obstacles you're facing, this is, tell, this is, this is basically telling me you're having one heck of a week, maybe you've been having one heck of a year, this is an energy of this is because you're wasting your time on superfluous things. And really all we asked of you was very simple things. And I know, Leo, you don't like to do anything simple. You like to do everything with flair. But you know what? That flair is costing you money. It's costing you time. And it's costing you energy that is not aligned with spirit and not what we, we required. So what the heck are you doing it for? Maybe you're doing it for your own ego. And you know what? That's what's ripping and tearing you down. That's what's crushing you. Get rid of that, get back to just what your, your divine purpose here. Get back to the simple things. Get back to the simple things and the simple truths and your soul will sing happy again. And you'll, and you'll taste the sweetness of the honey of what you have built. It's not like, but there's change here, 100%. And I think it's, I, I have to say, <clears throat> it's almost like, um, this soul sickness is what's sort of alchemically making, uh, it's like, it could be a response to an alchemical shift that's happening to you right now, to you actually integrally changing really rapidly. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to articulate all of this with uh, Tarot and we'll get into your romantic reading too. The link is in the comments or down below in the description box. I'll see you in the extended layer.